And this is where everything that we thought protected us keeps us from being the partners, the parents, the professionals, the people that we want to be. Hello and welcome to Mindspo TV, your online destination for all things mindset, motivation, inspiration, and of course, meditation. I'm your host and your meditation teacher, Rochelle Fox, and today I'm bringing you another episode in Mindspo's self-love top 10 series. This is a series where we share inspiring wisdom from celebrities, influencers, thought leaders, and all around amazing humans. So without further ado, let's get into today's self-love top 10. Today, I'm sharing with you my take on Brene Brown's top 10 tips for self-love. And I'm personally really excited about this episode because Brene is someone who I really admire the work of. Now, funny story, I actually found out about Brene via Netflix through her Call to Courage documentary. Now, I downloaded this documentary totally randomly before getting on a flight without even knowing about her or her work. And I spent the whole entire flight barely laughing at her unique presenting style and her profound teachings. Brene is known for her work on courage and vulnerability, and she is someone I feel we all need in our lives. And I cannot wait to share with you my take on her top 10 rules for self-love. Gratitude and joy. The courage to be vulnerable enough to really feel grateful and joyful will always trump scarcity. You know, we live in a culture of scarcity. We live in a culture of never enough. You can fill in the blanks. Never good enough, skinny enough, rich enough, popular enough, never bestseller enough, never baba enough, never enough Twitter followers, never enough. <laughs> never enough. Never enough. And what's interesting is there's only, in the research, what I found, there's only one way out of scarcity, and that is enoughness. At some point, we need to just say, enough. I'm enough. What I'm doing is enough. I love in the, in the TEDx talk, I think it was a TEDx talk, where you talk about the original definition of courage. Can you share that? Yeah. I love that. I do too. It's from the Latin word cur, meaning heart. Uh -huh. And so the original definition was to share all of yourself, share your whole story with your whole heart. And so an act of courage was an act of storytelling, which I think is true. The question I think that drives my work is really, what is the struggle, what is our struggle with believing that we're enough? How does that play into the bigger cultural picture? Um, what are the messages and expectations that fuel this sense that we have to be perfect, that we're not allowed to be vulnerable? It's about waking up in the morning and saying, you know, no matter what gets done and how much is done and how it's done, I'm enough and I'm worthy of love and belonging and joy. I think wholeheartedness, the entire idea of wholeheartedness is about engaging with the world from a place of worthiness. The most life-changing is that vulnerability is the center of difficult emotion, but it's also the birthplace of every positive emotion that we need in our lives. Love, belonging, joy, empathy. I think there's like a thin film of terror wrapped around us. And so if it's not, I'm not safe enough, or I'm not secure enough, it's I'm not liked enough, I'm not promoted enough, I'm not loved enough. Scarcity, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I am not enough. At the very bottom, yeah. I'm not enough. Yeah. And Whoa, that's big, 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 big. Somebody ring some bells. <laughs> we need some bells to ring on this show. But that's no, big. that's it. And so guess what the number one casualty is of a scarcity culture? What? Vulnerability. We shut down. We shut down. Because I'm not going to let you know. No. Because I'm already I don't, scared. I'm not right. all together. Right. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is that people are like, oh, well, we lose a little vulnerability. But vulnerability is not just about fear and grief and disappointment. It's the birthplace of everything we're hungry for. Creativity. Joy, creativity, yeah. faith, yeah. love. Innovation yeah. and all of that. Yes. And the whole thing is there is no innovation and creativity without failure. Period. So you've got to be open enough to take the risk to fail. Yeah. 
Before we get into tip number six, I just wanna mention, if you want more high vibe self-love content in your life, then be sure to check out our Instagram page and give it a follow at Mindspo. You can also connect with us right now by sharing and tagging at Mindspo in a story of you watching this video so that others can find these self-love gems as well. We've even created an artwork inspired by this video, which you can share on your gram right now. You'll find a link to it below the video. Pandora's box is closed right now. But are you under the impression that you're living outside of the box or in the box? Like, like, yeah, I like that. You know I mean? Like, you don't want to open Pandora's box because that's strange to me because you're living inside Pandora's box and what I feel like you've asked me to come here to open it up. Like, we're not going to do this process without walking through some deep shit where there's going to be deep, swift water. And if the water is super deep and swift, you need to go through that with a therapist and get that, that, that settled before we work in the organizational way. But what I would say to people, what I always say is, is the same for me. And I'm sure the same for you that we all grew up and experienced to very de- varying degrees, trauma, disappointment, how, you know, hard stuff we armored up and at some point that armor no longer serves us and so what i think i would say to that person is how is not talking about this serving you Mm -hmm. and now the weight of the armor is too heavy and it's not protecting you it's keeping you from being seen and known by others Mm -hmm. and so this is i mean just tell you quintessentially this is the developmental milestone of midlife. This is the question. Hmm. You know, this is when the universe comes down and puts her hands on your shoulders and pulls you close and whispers in your ear, I'm not fucking around. You're halfway to dead. Hmm. The armor is keeping you from growing into the gifts I've given you. That is not without penalty. Time is up. Hmm. So this is what you see happen to people in midlife. And it's not a crisis. It's a slow brutal unraveling. And this is where everything that we thought protected us keeps us from being the partners, the parents, the professionals, the people that we want to be. Talk to yourself like you talk to someone you love when you're feeling unworthy. How would I talk to Ellen and Charlie in a moment of unworthiness? Would I ever, I mean, I would say to myself, God, you're so stupid, Brene. What were you thinking? I would never talk to my kids that way. Talk to yourself like you talk to someone you love. Reach out to someone you trust and tell your story. Shame cannot survive being spoken. So here's the the secret. When perfectionism is driving, shame is always riding shotgun. And fear is the annoying backseat driver. Say it again. When, When perfectionism is driving, shame is always riding shotgun. We struggle with perfectionism in areas where we feel most vulnerable to shame. Does that make sense? So we're all comfortable saying, yeah, I'm a little perfectionistic, which is code for like, I do things really well. Um, But I don't really, I'm not comfortable saying I have shame, but perfectionism, what is that? I call it the 20 ton shield. Here's what perfectionism really is. It's a way of thinking that says this, if I look perfect, live perfect, work perfect, I can avoid or minimize criticism, blame, and ridicule. Whoa, that's good. All perfectionism is, is the 20 ton shield that we carry around hoping that it'll keep us from being hurt. When in truth, what it does is it keeps us from being seen. So healthy striving is internally focused. It's I wanna do this and be the best I can be. Perfectionism is not about what I want. It's perfectionism is exactly, what will people think? think? Think. So the thing is, you can't ever do anything brave if you're completely, if you're wearing the straight jacket of what will people think? I don't think there is an affect or an emotion more difficult to fully embrace than joy. You know, if you sit up in bed alone and think, oh, work's going well, my, you know, everything's going great with my girlfriend, I can pay the rent, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, crap, with, you know, disaster's coming, waiting for the other shoe to drop. Just stop and say, I'm grateful. I don't know what's gonna happen in 10 minutes when I get up, but right now I'm super grateful. And that's the key to vulnerability and joy. It's so hard. I thought doing this research, I thought going into it, there were authentic people and inauthentic people. Mm -hmm. I had 
I did not find any evidence of that at all. What I found is authenticity is a practice and you choose it every day, sometimes every hour of every day. And it's a practice. It's not, I just wake up and hey, I'm authentic. It's that when you walk into a meeting, you have to make the choice. Am I gonna show up and let myself be seen? Am I gonna, am I gonna raise my hand and say, Wow, y'all look super excited. I don't know what in the hell you're talking about. I'm so lost. <laughs> you know, that's a choice. Yes. Uh huh. Right. Mm -hmm. And what to and to be make that authentic choice. You got to let go of 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 of, of the fake fakeroo. I say. Yeah. Whoa, what an episode with Brene Brown. Now, I want to know from you, what was your favorite takeaway and your favorite tip from this self-love download? I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to click the big red subscribe button down below and smack the bell so you don't miss our next self-love top 10 download. In the meantime, you can catch me on Instagram at Rochelle underscore Fox and at Mindspo for some more self-love, motivation, inspiration, and of course, meditation. Until then, go love yourself and I'll see you soon.